Hello, welcome back to Academia. Today I want to talk about something that is very meaningful to me, and that is lifelong learning. But what does it mean? One definition I found is lifelong learning as the ongoing, voluntary and self-motivated pursuit of knowledge for either personal or professional reasons. Lifelong learning can enhance our understanding of the world around us, provide us with more and better opportunities and improve our life. Everybody can practice lifelong learning from all walks of life, at least in my opinion. So what do I do? For example, I like to listen to podcasts about topics that inspire me. I also like to do lots of sports, for example, Pilates or some cardio workouts, but also yoga in the morning to help relax my body and prepare me for the day ahead. Another way of lifelong learning is cooking. I like to try new foods, but I especially like to become creative with the leftovers in the fridge. What can I do today with this situation? <laughs> I also like to read a lot. It helps my creativity. Being in university, it was a bit difficult for some time because I had many things that I was supposed to read, but that didn't necessarily interest me. So for the past few years, I tried to make time for reading again. Reading books from my childhood, for example, my childhood heroes, they really inspire me and make me more creative. Another way of learning for life for me was learning about money and budgeting when I first moved out of my parents' home. To this day, there's something I can learn every single day <laughs> because there's so much to know about that topic. Another way I like to learn is by watching movies. There's this one movie I can recommend to you and it's told in such an unexpected kind of way. And when I saw it, I really thought, Man, I want to improve my storytelling abilities. So these were just a few of the things I like to do and where I believe I'm learning for life. So what should you do now? I don't think you should take these things and simply apply them to you. Lifelong learning is about what interests you, whether it be something for your mind, for your body or your soul. You can start maybe with something that you fear. Lean into the fear, master it and become really proud of yourself. You can also try out learning something you don't know yet, but has always interested you. Lifelong learning is about curiosity, doing the things that are fun and interest you. In my opinion, it's also no longer about the traditional kind of learning from a textbook in school or university or college. It's about reading online as well, like blogs or websites, or even doing a webinar if you're one of the confident ones. <laughs> Typically, Japanese learners do not study Japanese phonetics intensively, usually only covering fundamental pronunciation and never studying Japanese intonation or pitch accent. And the best thing is always to speak with other people that have similar interests to you. Sometimes we get caught with the end result and how much we want to improve, but The stories that really, really inspire me personally are not the stories where someone is telling what happened after the hard work. It's always about the hard work, how were you able to stick through, and these are the things that inspire me. So I'm still learning to balance that every single day. And if you're having a bad day and feel like you cannot do all the things you would like to do, you would like to learn for life, I can recommend to you that you simply focus on what you can change right now, even the smallest steps. Maybe it's turning on a good song you like. Maybe it's about checking out online if there's a course available for free. It's about the little things. Because the little things in our life eventually mount up to our life. 